everyone welcome to gmail tutorials in this video we are going to take a look at some of the general gmail settings that can help us customize the way we send emails or manage our google account few settings we have already seen in the previous video in this video we are going to take a look at some more settings that can help us do the same so without any further ado let us start with the video right now i am in the general settings of gmail in case you are wondering how to go to that uh, to this option or to this screen all you need to do is simply open up your gmail in your google chrome browser or any other browser as a matter of fact then go to this corg button that shows settings click on this and select see all settings this will bring up to you the settings page make sure you are in the general tab to see the exact screen like this once you are over here let us take a look at the settings we can customize so uh, two settings we have is hover actions and send an archive which are not that important uh, hover actions basically allow you to uh, take actions while your mouse is hovering over that particular option like you can see over here quickly gain access to archive delete mark as read and snooze controls on hover so if the controls are listed I and mean, if you take your cursor over there then there uh, you would get the action to perform so this is a good thing let us just keep it enabled next is send an archive so basically what happens is once you have sent any email if you want to archive that particular email then you can use this send an archive button or send an archive option so this setting basically asks you that once you have uh, sent a reply do you want to get this information you do you want to get this option this button so by default it's saying to hide if you want to enable it you can just keep it as a show next is the default text style uh, it is basically how the body of your email will look like by default it is sans serif and a standard font size is selected which is if you click over here normal and the text is sans serif the font type is sans serif but if you want to change it if you want to customize it then you can do that using this option that is the default text style so suppose let's just go with this georgia font and make it huge so this is how our emails will look like now it is not looking very good so let us just go with a large one this one's looking better next we have is images so once you receive any email do you want the images to be shown or do you want the gmail to give you an option and if you permit only then the external images would be shown this is a important step because it makes sure that if any of the image files are containing viruses then that uh, step this additional step actually secures your computer but it comes with a con as well because if you are using this extra step then every time you receive an email you have to select that option so this is kind of an extra step and by default or if you misclick to don't show the images and if there is some important image then you will face a problem so let's just keep it as always display external images because google uh, usually marks the harmful content harmful email as spam so let us just trust google security over here next we have is a dynamic email so what is a dynamic email a uh, dynamic email basically helps us to rsvp to events fill out questionnaires browse the catalogs respond to comments or update the emails to display the latest content so any of the content that is bound to change through time is created in a dynamic email do you want to get the dynamic email or do you want to be able to send a dynamic email here we use that option that is the enable dynamic email option so that's it for this video in the next video we will see some of the general settings related to gmail that's it for this video thanks for watching